Hi there, this is Nathan Moss from Northland Phoenix and we're on day 8 of our 30 day challenge. It's my 30 day challenge, it's like the Royal R. But, um, so today I want to talk about a book that I just read recently. You guys might find it very interesting. It's called Teeming with the Microbes, or Teeming with Microbes. And it's by Jeff Lowenfels and Wayne Lewis. So this book is, uh, it's all about, like, you know, how to fertilize your garden organically using, like, compost mulch and compost teas. Like, that's their, their three big things. But it's kind of a, it's sort of a how-to and sort of an educational primer on how soils work. And then how to restore your previously dead soil, like from conventional farming or heavy uses of fertilizer or, you know, whatever asides, you know, herbicides, pesticides, insecticides, fungicides, like all that stuff. So, like, it's kind of divided into two chapters or two halves. The first half is, like, all right, like, what are all the critters in your soil and what do they do? Like, what's their, their purpose in life? You know, because, frankly, most of us don't really know what's going on in the soil. And then the second half is kind of like, well, what, what do you do about it? How do you, re, how do you renew your soil to make it uh, more bountiful? So, the, I mean, so, I mean, I'll kind of just kind of go through what, what the, the table of contents says. Let's see if you guys can read it. So it talks, I mean, like it talks about bacteria, talks about archaea, I, I pronounced that right, it talks about fungi, algae and slime molds, protozoa, nematodes, arthropods, earthworms, gastropods, and then a small chapter on reptiles, mammals, and birds. So, I mean, basically it's talking about what do the different animals or creatures do? So you kind of have like the first you know, group of them which are like breaking down stuff. So you like have your bacteria and your fungi which are for decomposing different sorts of materials. And then you have like your bigger creatures which are for eating the first, you know, level, first tier animals. So I mean, you have like your protozoa, your nematodes, and your arthropods and stuff. And then it talks about earthworms and, and gastropods, which is like slugs and snails. And, you know, then it talks about the reptiles, mammals, and birds. And they're a little bit less of a thing, or a feature in this book, because they're not really as essential for building soils up, but... You, it's definitely like the full ecosystem and you kind of have to add back all the different things and so then like I thought the first half was like an amazing you know book or portion of a book because frankly who knows about all this stuff it's like it was very educational sometimes it can be a little bit dry but it was very informative and the second half of the book I wasn't quite as interested in um, because it's kind of like compost mulch and compost tea. I feel like we, I already knew that. So it's like I didn't have, even have to know what was in the soil to make it better. I would have liked, you know, a little bit more in-depthness on like how do I make the best compost tea ever or, or something. So one of the things that I really learned that I thought was very valuable was that uh, different plants, based on where they are living, want different types of, you know, critters in their soils. Um, so and what they talk about is that like old growth forests tend to have a lot of woody matter and leaf matter and stuff, which is you know primarily decomposed by 
fungi and, or fungi and then you know vegetables and you know more grassy you know prairie type of plants tend to like so all of the vegetables because they're in like the overturned grass or overturned soils like to have you know bacterial dominated you know soil critters so it depending on what you're growing you will want to tailor your your you know your amendment plan you know to suit the particular plants that that you're growing you know you want to provide them the soil that they want in the same way that you'd provide like a blueberry with you know acid soil like a lower acid soil and some other things with like higher pH soils you also want to do the same with the microbes that are that are in it and so I think the the two things that we're really using and I'll talk about them at a later date is we're using mycorrhizal fungi and we're also using uh, different like bacterial microbe teas both in the form of our vermicomposting system like that produces a lot of bacteria and in we purchased some products from like TNJ Enterprise which have it as well and we'll go into those at a later date but if you're looking to grow organic foods or treat your lawn organically or anything like this is definitely the one of the books that you should go with I mean it's definitely not the only one but it's 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 pretty crucial alright thanks a lot and have a wonderful weekend. Thanks a lot. Bye.